Second, Mr. Chairman, I want to thank uh, my friend and colleague, uh, Senator Warner, uh, for uh, our legislation called Empowering Employees Through Stock Ownership Act. In order to strengthen startup businesses, I believe it's crucial that employers have the tools to retain talent uh, by giving their employees an ownership stake in their company's success. Currently, cash-strapped, privately held startup companies provide stock options as a way to compensate employees and compete with more established firms. However, because these companies are private, there's generally not a market for employees to sell their share to cover their tax liabilities. Our legislation will address this challenge uh, by providing non-highly compensated employees, I want to repeat that, non-highly compensated employees the ability to defer their income tax liabilities. And I was pleased to see the Ways and Means Committee uh, pass our companion bill last week, and I expect it to pass the full House later this week. And finally, Mr. Chairman, Nevada uh, is a national leader on solar, geothermal, and other innovative technologies. As a result of last year's solar tax deal, uh, which you helped with, Mr. Chairman, uh, and as did Jim. Uh, Nevada expects an additional $2 billion in solar uh, to be invested in our state alone, expanding clean, clean energy uh, production and creating hundreds of good paying jobs. As a leader on this issue, I believe it's crucial and critical that we provide parity across the renewable energy sector so that all Section 48 technologies are treated equally. So I'm disappointed that Section 48 parity is still an outstanding issue within the tax code, and it should have been resolved, I believe, last year. I appreciate my colleagues, uh, specifically uh, Senator Carter and Cantwell, uh, that are here today that helped raise this issue and remain committed to working with them, and you, Mr. Chairman, to resolve this issue uh, before the end of the year. Thank you.